Do you want to learn how to create destructions in Unreal Engine? Then this video is for you. Hi guys, welcome back to the day 17 of learning Unreal Engine 5.6. In this video, we are going to learn how to use Chaos Destruction in Unreal Engine, the basics of Chaos Destruction and then we are going to move on to some projects and create some destruction effects using Unreal Engine. So let's start. So in order to use the Chaos Destruction, you first need to enable the plugin from the plugin manager. So let's just go to edit, let's just go to plugins and here just make sure you type chaos and here you need to make sure that chaos uh, is turned on. So you can see chaos solver is turned on and one more thing I need is chaos cache. So let's just search for that as well. So let's just go upwards and let's just type chaos cache and you can see chaos caching is turned on. So you can turn this on as well and if you want to export it for the alembic cache and use it for the external plugins you can external dcc apps you can basically use the chaos caching usd but just make make sure that chaos caching is turned on if you want to work it with the cinematics and sequencer as well so we are going to look at that in another video but let's just start now so we are going to start with the chaos destruction now in order to do the destructions you need to make sure that you have collisions on the objects first so in order to see that you can just double click on your static mesh and just make sure that if you click here you can see if you go downward you can see somewhere here it is collision collision complexity set to project default and if you want to see it you can visualize it as well so if i click here and you can see there are lots of things but i can see here simple collision complex collision okay and you can see complex collision is here so basically you can see there is collision so which is good for us so if it is not there i am going to show you how you can uh, enable the collision on the custom objects as well so don't worry about it let's just close this now now in order to break anything in unreal engine you need to switch the mode here so from selection go to fracturing and as soon as you do it this all stuff are related to your chaos destruction and we are going to use this as well and in future videos i'm also going to show you how you can apply different different materials to the different parts which are broken so don't worry about that as well right now just focus on how the chaos destruction work in unreal engine so let's just uh, do that thing now let's just create a basic object which we can use to break so let's just go to shapes and we are going to create a cube here a simple cube and i'm going to take it upwards okay so you can say it's something like this and let's just rescale it by pressing the r key okay i'm going to turn off this snapping here so let's just do something like this okay and let's just do something like this so i can also add one another object which will be used as a collision which is going to use to break the object but right now we are going to start with this so let's just do this and now in order to uh, simulate the basically uh, chaos uh, destructions you need to make sure that you convert the object from static mesh to geometry cache so uh, unreal engine used geometry cache in order to fracture the geometry and here you can see we have this level statistic so right now there is zero uh, number of bones and zero number of uh, basically convex hulls okay so you can see it's zero zero here so as i told you we first need to uh, convert this so let's just convert this first let's just click on new and it will ask to basically create a geometry collection or geometry cache i i am tend to you tell it a geometry cache but you can uh, say geometry collection so what i can do i can just click on my content here and i'm going to create a new folder here and let's just name it to chaos underscore destruction and let's just uh, create geometry collection as, as soon as I do it you can see we have this uh, pink color here which is basically your geometry collection and if I go to outliner here okay you are into fracture hierarchy so just switch to outliner here and here you can see now we don't see a cube static mesh we instead see a gc underscore cube which is geometry collection and if you scroll downwards you will see all the properties related to um, basically uh, destruction effects damage removal collision velocity clustering etc etc okay and here you will see in the level statistics now we have one bone which is this and one convex hull which is this 
so right now if i simulate this so in order to simulate it just click here and just make sure that you click on this simulate and right now you can say it's just falling down okay so if i stop it again and if i simulate this you can say it's just falling down here okay and now what i want i want to fracture it so there are multiple options in order to fracture your geometry in unreal engine you can use a uniform which is basically a pattern voronoi fracture pattern which is going to use and make the uniform uh, chunks basically so if i click and show you and here you can see minimum chunks are 20 by 20 so you need to select this and then you can click on fracture okay but i'm not going to do it i'm just going to show you what exactly this is happening so you can see there are chunks here and if i click on fracture you can see we have this 20 piece so first level is one piece which is our bone which we created and then it is fractured by 20 piece and then you can fracture it further as well but let me just play and show you so if i click on play right now you can see it's breaking but not that much okay you can see here the object is broken here from this piece because it's using a, a damage effect as well so we are going to learn how you can do it and one more thing you can see this is the color that i am getting so if i stop and play it again you can see we are getting this color now if you don't want to see this color you want to see the material that you have applied just press the uh, shift b key and as soon as you press the shift b you will see your material okay select the object and press the shift b key here so if i press the shift b key again you can see we have our object and now if i click on play now you can say it's broken from here okay just this part is broken now you can make much more pieces as well so if i go backwards here okay and if i again press the shift b key here you can see we have this mesh here which is broken and if i basically uh, go here and click on this object okay maybe i want to break this more and maybe this so i can hold shift key select all the three okay you can click on the level one as well and just then press the uniform or let's just try another one which is a cluster and you can see this is how it is going to cluster my geometry here which you can see okay and let's just do the default one and click on fracture and now you can see we have 20 cuts uh, first we have only one cut which we simulated then we have the 20 cuts in the level 2 then we have the 83 cuts in level 3 which is basically this three geometries okay so you can visualize it as well you can see we have this more cuts here and if you click here you will find that we are getting the setting so if you don't want to see this clusters here which how they are working you can just turn them off as well so just crawl downwards here and in visualization so visualization is what you see here it is not going to render just make sure that draw diagram and draw noise preview is turned off and you can see this are the cut that we are having but right now i'm going to keep this on because when i'm going to simulate it is not going to get shown okay and let's just click outside and now you can see this is how it is breaking and if i click on play now i mean simulate you can see now it's breaking here in two chunks only see in only two to three chunks so this is not looking that much great okay i can stop it i can again go upwards i can select this level okay and press the shift b key so i get my material back and if i click on simulate again you can see it's only one part is breaking now i want to make sure that my all the parts are broken so let's just press the shift b key again now in order to do that you need to uh, control the damage here damage parameters so how you can find it it's really easy here so what you can do you can just go to your gc cube which is geometry collection just scroll downwards here and here you will find a damage tab okay you have this clustering as well we are not going to talk about that here we are just going to talk about damage in this video so let's just click on the damage here and here you will find if i open this damage threshold it's index 0 50 000. Uh, i think it's yeah it's 5 lakhs then index 1 is 50 000 and then index 2 is 5 000. so now what happens now basically index 0 is your level 0 index 1 is your level 1 index 2 is your level 2 okay you can create multiple levels but this is how it works so if i reduce this from let's say 5 lakhs to 50 000 and now if i simulate this let's just press the control uh, shift b key here let's just play it again and now you can see 
it's not breaking that much okay let's just reduce it much more so let's just scroll downwards again let's just do 5000 and press enter okay so let's just play it again okay now you can see we are getting much more cracks here so you can see we are getting this cracks here okay and then we can use the motion graphic tools in order to animate this cracks as well okay but we are not going to talk about this but you can see there are more cracks here so let's just do 500 okay and now you can see we are getting this result so if i play again you can see the result so now let's just go to level 2 because level 2 is having this 83 uh, level 2 is having this 20 and level 2 uh, level 1 is having this 20 so what i'm going to do i'm going to reduce this as well to let's say 500 and let's just play so now you can see we are getting much more pieces here see okay again let's just uh, pause this let's just go to the third value let's just do 50 here okay 5550 so let's just click on play and now you can see we are getting much more pieces here so if you see here we are getting this pieces here okay so this is looking really good now so we can again uh, dial this down a lot so let's just scroll downwards by selecting the gc cube and just make sure okay where it is just scroll upwards let's just go for 500 okay let's just go for 50 here and let's just go for 10 let's say and let's just click on play now and now you can see we are getting much more damage here okay so this is looking really good okay and now if you want you can go it much lower as well so you can totally play with this value and yeah this all depends on the object how big your object is and how much cut it has now there is one more material which you can use use size specific damage thresholds okay so if i turn this on what it will do it will uh, damage it as per the chunks it is uh, getting here so if i click on play now you can see we are not getting that much because this is according to the object fall and according to the damage it has okay so it totally up to you if you want to turn it on you can definitely turn it on and if you don't want to use this just turn this off and this is going to get used this 550 and 10 so let's just reduce this to 50 let's just reduce this to 30 and let's just do this to 5 let's say let's just see now how it is going to work okay let's just click on play again and now you can see so this is looking much much better now let's just do one thing let's just add one more object let's say add a spear or something like that let's just add a spear here and i'm going to keep it here okay and just make sure that this is going upward something like this okay and when my object is going to fall on this it is going to break so let's just click on play now and as soon as i do it you can see it's breaking into pieces this is looking really beautiful guys okay so you can see and one more thing this is this is in real time guys so this is a much uh, more beauty of this unreal engine because if you are used, used to Houdini, you know, we need to first simulate it, uh, cache it, and then we need to simulate and then we can see the result. But here it is going in real time here. So if I click on play again, you can see this is how beautiful it is breaking. Okay, so this is looking really good. And if you want, you can apply some materials as well. So let's just apply a material quickly. Okay, if you want to do that, you can do that as well. So you can add a, a content pack let's just go to content and let's just add a starter content here this is done let's just go to our materials and let's just apply a material here let's just give a concrete port okay you can see and let's just give this concrete panel okay i applied it to sky sorry so you need to select this mesh here and here you can see we have this basic shape material let's just use this okay let's just uh, calculate this and now you can see the uvs are not that great so what we can do we can just apply a uv here but if i go to modeling okay and if i switch this to let's say uvs you can see we cannot do it why because selection includes engine sx okay so basically it's a gc cube so what you need to do you need to go to your what's say fracture and here you will find a auto uv from here you need to do this thing okay 
but i'm going to show you how you can do it in the next chapters basically you can see there are lots of options layout uv add uv channel box project uvs and all that stuff so if i click on box project you can see we have this okay and then you can just basically uh, resize this rescale this and do lots of things but let's just, just see how this looks and this is looking beautiful you can see the result and then in the future videos we are going to also change the inner material here as well which is going to look much much better when it cracks okay but this is how the basic goes so you can uh, do any geometry you want to break uh, here not just this geometry you can import it from fab as well and do that thing as well but if you are importing a custom uh, geometry from let's say 3ds max or maya okay and you are importing it and you are using that as a collision object you need to make sure that you have the collision uh, model i'm going to show you that in next video when we are going to explore much more options like the radial is there like the planar is there then we have the break the slice and then i'm going to show you how you can activate that as well with the bomb and the volume as well okay so i will see you in the next video till then practice what i have taught you and this is just the beginning i'm going to take it much more further because i'm noticing that people are liking my uh, lighting and uh, motion graphics in unreal and destruction and fluids in unreal much more than the other videos so i'm going to continue this in the next video where i'm going to show you some more parameters like radial planar slice and all that stuff and then i'm also going to show you the bomb effect and then we are going to create a small project of the destruction with the help of chaos destruction and then we are going to move forward to learning some more things as well so i hope you guys enjoy this video if you like this video please press that like button share it with your friends who wants to learn unreal engine and chaos destruction please press that like button if you haven't done it and do let me know in the comments how you are liking the videos okay i will see you next time till then bye bye guys take care